Should really ditch the Linux and start using Windows subsystem for Linux or should you really hold on? In this video, we are going to find it out that. Hey guys, my name is Rahul Aire and I am from Pune. So I have been really an avid Linux user from since February 2019 and I have been so far being a developer. I really like the Linux so far right now uh, and my experience was quite decent uh, compared to what uh, nearly Mac OS experience and stability is much more greater than the Windows counter uh, counterpart. So the twist was really like that in making of this video was a couple of months ago I really heard about the thing called the WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux. Meaning that a part of the Linux operating system you can now use on the Windows platform. When I really heard this I was like ooh that's really good enough that's great concept right? so finally right now i can really use a windows app along with the linux application like earlier i used to really have a dual boot system where the linux was quite totally different and windows apps were quite different uh, a part of that example is like linux is quite great of programming for the support and the ecosystem it's really offers and I particularly like Windows because it has a great bunch of softwares like video editing which I am really using of DaVinci Resolve, Adobe, AutoCAD for designing stuff and all that kind of thing. But you don't really find that in the Linux part. So naturally when I have heard it right, so finally I thought that yes I can really use both at a similar time. So is it really great? Mm, like bunch of every like majority of the fancy thing this turned out to be a really ugly experience for me so right now essentially what you have to do is just to activate you just have to go to the path, environmental path variable uh, and just check mark the windows subsystem for linux and go to the microsoft windows store and download the any flavor of linux that you really want and just you are good to go uh, I'll make sure to link a video up right here so you can just follow up that steps uh, of the tutorial so that you can really set up the WSL up there. So what my really problem that I issue really face is like so when you really install a Linux purely on the virtual machine or the dual boot you get a complete access of the all, all packages like wget, uh, curl and base, basic all the commands. And you just need to really install a couple of bunch of other packages like git, npm, uh, and other like Linux torrent clients and all that kind of stuff. But when I really tried on that same kind of stuff here, uh, there were many issues like it, it was not even close to the server grade version of Linux. The Windows subsystem, server grade is actually like it is a Linux kernel without having all the desktop features, the UI uh, and all that kind of stuff. The actually server server operating system is like, it's a basic operating system that doesn't have any of the UI, GUI and all that kind of stuff. It was not near to it. It's like the packages were not correctly installed. It was not having even the wget command to install, to download and fetch the url links so that i can really save on my pc uh, i i was really unable to download the latest version of npm the oh my gosh terminal really sucks really well and currently right now it has uh, more than 700 issues that it, that right has been posted on the github so you can really check that out number one so i just really tried out a bunch of out the stuff and most important thing of uh, especially that I experienced on this is that it is not that snappy number one it takes a lot of time to just you know when the terminal boots up it just take a long time as compared to Linux Linux is like Thanos it just kind of completely it is really really quick and snappy the, the whole essential thing of Linux is like it is much more faster even if you have the worst hardware and and the, this was not in the case of the windows here like it was so dumb and so slappy i really tried to install the oh my gosh so what is the oh my gosh you can really look up here right now 
uh, it's a essentially fancy terminal which you can really set up in Linux in just couple of lines and command but when I really tried something it I installed that package but it had but it required to change the font to change the font of terminal to the power line now I can't just really do it man come on like come on Microsoft what are you doing it's like you are really designing such a beautiful thing after a long time and you are not giving this thing to other out in in normal traditional Linux you just kind of really right click the mouse and just change the font preferences to activate that oh my gosh uh, power line font but you can't do anything here and and the modification features are just kind of really available to the developers out there and you really need a Microsoft Studio account to really just kind of do it to change the transparency and all that kind of stuff to really make it much more enhanced but I think it's really not good currently for the educate I mean for the normal developers out there uh, but I am but I'm really sure that Microsoft will really kind of push the updates to make it much more better after all for the whole long period of there for the whole decades they have the first time they have really kind of updated that terminal app and this is the kind of video that they have shown and to make they have made the, yes the whole video for terminal out there so have a look of this So I hope that you have liked this video. Make sure you share this video to all other platform and subscribe this channel. I really make sure to push the other contents based on such topics. If you have any question, just comment it down below. I'll make I'll be more happy to make a video over it and see you next time.